So for practice problem three, we're asked to provide a one or two sentence written statement that's going to describe the story told by this real world data table that we have here. First thing I do, always kind of read the title. It gives you a little idea. So this story is about a 200 meter race that Lilo's running in. The two variables or quantities that we're comparing are how many seconds she's been running for and the distance in meters she's covered. So if I'm writing a written statement, the first thing I might do is just summarize Lilo running in a race, data on how long, or we could even say data on time she runs for and distance she covers. And then we're going to use data to get specific. The first thing we might start talking about is what type of relationship we see here and then the specific numbers that we could describe. Copy the table over here. We're going to put that in full screen to take a look at some of this data. So we see at the beginning, of course, if there's no time that's gone by, this relationship starts at zero and zero. Lulo's not going to have run any distance until the race actually starts. So we can say it starts at the origin or when x is equal to zero, y is also equal to zero in this relationship. The blue data point, the next row, shows us that for 32 meters of distance, it took Lilo four seconds to run there. So if I put that in a ratio, she runs 32 meters, her y change, in four seconds, we could simplify that and say that's the same thing as division or simplifying a fraction, eight meters every one second. And something would see the same thing with the red and the purple point. We use the red data point if we did 48 meters per every six seconds. That would still 48 divided by six works out to eight over one or eight meters every one second again. And the same thing if you took 80 and divided by 10, you again would get eight over one. And this is telling us a few things. First, hopefully we were recognizing this is a proportional relationship. So one thing we could be saying, there's a proportional, proportional relationship there. If we'd want to get specific for sure, I would say the unit rate is 8 meters per second. And then if you're really understanding this at that point, we can also recognize a proportional relationship. This constant rate of change is telling us that her speed doesn't change. It's remain constant at 8 meters per one second. 